Let's start this week's video with a few fish. Here's a nice bass the regular grandfather caught. Another beautiful bass caught by the regular grandmother. And regular viewer Gabriel sent in this picture of his new personal best. Great job. Welcome back regular viewers. Hope you guys had a great week. Thanks for tuning back in. Uh, the regular editor and I had a date uh, just the other night. And uh, on the way home, we went to my favorite new tackle store, the Dollar Tree. All right, round of applause for the Dollar Tree. So, and uh, we picked up this beauty right here. What is that? What does it say? A hole punch. A hole punch. And uh, I think we can make ourselves two fishing lures out of this dog right here. Oh, she's mad at you. No, she's not. Yes, she is. What's a hole punch? What's a hole punch? No, no, it I meant... No, 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 no. I just, no, I just, no, what I meant to say was... That's what a hole punch. What is a hole punch going to do to make a fishing lure? Oh, you'll have to see. Well, this one's fancy. Look, it's got a little hole punch punch holder. Don't every don't every single one have? Don't every single one have. Doesn't every single wow. one have? Look at that. It looks like I we could make a... It upside down. Looks like we could make a mold out of that. There, too, huh? Almost looks like a... Like a oh, I Creature see. bait, huh? Anyway, moving on. Here, dispose of this. Yes, sir. I like it. All right, so we're going to make uh, two fishing lures out of this, I think. So we're going to start by trying to punch this rivet out here that's holding it together. But uh, apparently that's going to destroy the whole thing. Before. Oh, it's starting to come out, finally. I could probably just cut that off now and pull it out. So let's go do that. Okay, when I punch this pin out here, I might have got a little aggressive with it, but it'll be okay. And the little springy do came out without issue as well. Uh, but be, just be careful. Anything that's under load, possibly that could fly out and, you know, kill somebody. Okay. Useless. Moving on. More power. So we've got it cut up, we've got it flattened out. So I'm thinking that kind of it's kind of a fishy profile. I kind of bent these up a little bit. I'm hoping it will the uh, the curve here and the curve there. I hope will give it some kind of wobble as you pull it through the water. I have no clue. This is just like shooting from the hip kind of thing here, uh, making it up as we go, and uh, we'll see what we get when we're done. So. Just got to clean this edge up just a little bit. It's still a little bit sharper than I'd like. But other than that, I think we're almost done with these dogs right here. So we're almost done. We just need to drill some holes and uh, <laughs> put on some hardware. So how do we want to do this best? Here, can you hit that right there with the hammer for me, please? Sorry. Okay. And we'll put another one to the right here, if you would, please. Okay. Same Z's here. Hold on. Now. Okay, go. One more for a good measure. Oh. Sorry. Okay. Hmm. Okay, right there. Hi. All right.
Okay, let's get some it's cleaned up a little bit. And uh, regular assistant got me this. Thank you very much, young man. You're welcome. High five. Okay, so out of this little kit, we're going to need get two barrel swivels. Are there different sizes in there, or are they all the same? I think they're two different sizes, from yeah. what I remember looking I can through see there. Them. See? Okay, those ones look a little bit bigger. So we'll get those two dogs on there. Why don't you get that little lead weight out of there for me and put it away? Okay, over here we need be using our trusty friend tweezers. Scary hook. Two treble hooks. It looks scary, just a bit to me. Not that size. Eh, we'll go a little bit bigger. And we'll go a little bit bigger. No, no, I'm gonna we'll use go to that size there. Use our friend Ol for this one. Hi Ol. Yes, hi Ol. And we're gonna need one, two, three. Four. I got how to open this. How did you open this? All, All right. right. Four of those dogs. All right. So effectively, our whole punch spoons are done. But we can do a little bit more to them. We can maybe add an eyeball on there. Eyeball uh, or two? Yeah. You could, of course, dress up the hook if you wanted to. I guess you could maybe hang some, like, uh, little flapper dues from there. I cut it off on that side, so that wouldn't work. But, you know, effectively, that's done. I think I paid a dollar thirty-seven after taxes at the dollar tree. So dollar. apparently it's a dollar and tree, well, 33 cents. But anyway, um yeah, so for a dollar uh, thirty-seven, we got ourselves two little spoons here to go uh, try and explore and enjoy. How nice, huh? Yeah. All right, so we'll try to put some lipstick on these little pigs here, and see if we can't uh, glue them or glue some little bit of eyes on them. All right, we'll take those out into uh, God's UV light and finish hardening them up. Here we go. Let's give it a try. Give it a snack. Look at that. Nice wobbly swim. action, huh? Uh -huh. You're taking a swim. Nice wobbly action. I think we got what we were looking for. Yay! So we're going to make some casts out here and uh, see if we can't uh, scare up a little fish or not. Hopefully we can uh, find a little bass or a gar to go after this guy for you. But I think we got what we were looking for. It works. Yay. Pretty cool. It's awful hard to fish when your dog keeps chasing you. Or... You're going bonkers, dog. You don't like those weeds, do you? Get them. Look at her. She's yeah, looks like a salad bar, huh? She's like, what is that? Salad bar with fish swimming in it. Well, regular viewers, you did it again. Made it through the end of a video. Thank you for your stick to itiveness. So we got these little numbers right here. So a dollar thirty-seven. A little bit of uh, time and effort. Didn't really, really take that long. And uh, we've got ourselves two nice spoons. They fluttered really well. They casted really well for their size. So that was pretty good. Uh, I like the, uh, they're not overly heavy, um, but they have enough mass that they really cast it out there. Um, uh, I didn't get any fish on them or else we would have shown you a picture of it there. But, um, but I can see that they'll work as a nice, as a nice flutter spoon here. I think you could tune these uh, little tails on there, maybe make them smaller or bigger or however you'd like on them and uh and get some different action depending on what it is you're looking for uh this is the one i was using it was kind of neat uh when you reeled it in it came up to the surface 
And then it kind of like did a little walk the dog thingy across the surface, if you like. If you remember the dirty bird, that uh, weedless lure is very reminiscent of that. But also a little bonus bait footage here. I didn't give up on this guy right here. Um, I added uh, lead weights to the side of it. And I put a little reflector on them to just kind of continue that layered effect there uh, for that yellow perch, red fin there that they have. And, um, and it actually uh, swam. So sorry I don't have any footage of that. But uh, I think we finally made um, uh, treasure out of this piece of trash. So that was a good thing. So anyway, um, if you didn't check out that video, we'll link that down in the description below. But uh, otherwise, $1.37, two spoons. Love that Dollar Tree uh, tackle store there. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, uh, please feel free to leave them in the comments down here. And if always, if you uh, make anything yourself, I'd love to see pictures of it so we can share it here on Regular Guy Lures. Uh, send it to our email right here. All right. And uh, thank you so much. And you stay regular. Hey, what are you kids doing? <laughs> you, you stay, stay regular. regular.